Rockwood Mini Light. We've got a problem. Hey campers, I'm underneath my 2014 Rockwood Mini Light. Uh, I wanted to show you something that's a problem with all of them. I've had a lot of other people uh, have this issue that we, we've talked about on forums and stuff. Uh, these potable water tanks, fresh water tanks that are underneath these trailers are not uh, designed properly. The, the framing is too light. And uh, I fixed this one. I went over this with some quarter inch angle iron to reinforce this because what was happening is this whole thing right here bowed under and it was breaking off. Some people have actually lost these tanks. Uh, so I did it on both sides. You can see where I tacked it. That's all you really need to do. And uh, this stuff is so thin. Uh, they didn't use thick enough angle iron right here is the problem. And the weight of that tank, which I never did fill it, maybe had it a quarter quarter full. I did fill it once in a campground when they shut off the water. But uh, it's just it's just too weak for the amount of load you get have there, I believe. Uh, the other thing is, um, and I've got a kind of a temporary fix. You can see these 4 by 4s I put in here. Uh, that's to keep that tank, and i got the same thing on the other side. That's to keep the tank from sliding from side to side, because if this thing slides this way, it's going to tear up all your wiring and everything. It's liable to bust loose your hoses, uh, all kind of damage. This tank is, is way too thin. When, it, when it's full of water, this valve is pointing at about a 45 degree angle. It's just obviously too thin. Very poor design. This, this has been this way since 2013. This is the 14. I know for a fact the 16s are just as bad. Rock, Rockwood needs to get on the ball, fix this, uh, and uh, be done with it. So, just wanted to show you this. Look out for this if you have one of these Rockwood mini lights. Thank you. Adios.